Hey guys, my name's Kyle. Welcome back to another video on how to do a SQL or a project in Node.js with the SQLize ORM. Let's jump into it. So in our last video, we left off in this package.json file, and I said I was going to show you how to change it to be. Uh, well, actually, I think I just said I was going to show you how to change it. We're changing it in order to be a little bit more debugger developer friendly. So I'm going to add another script, and I'm just going to call it debug because that's what you're going to use this script for. And then we're going to do this. So I'm going to use a package for this called Nodemon. And if you're not familiar, Nodemon is a package that restarts your server every time it detects a change to the um, files. So it's just a very helpful, friendly developer um, thing, and we definitely want to keep it. You can actually see here that I already installed it, but I'll show you how to install it in just a second. So we'll say node mod, and then we're going to say dash dash inspect dash break. Now you don't have to include this dash break. I just do. Um, dash break is going to pause the debugger before your system has a chance to run. And the reason that I do this is because especially when you're working with SQLize, SQLize will automatically create the um, tables for you that you generate. And if you accidentally hit save or something, it can be really annoying because it'll create that table for you um, in an inconsistent manner to how you actually want it. It basically creates the wrong table. Um, and you don't want that to happen. So you don't want it to actually create the table until you are completely done writing the model for said table. So if you have inspect break in here, that means that it'll keep restarting the server, but it won't actually run the server. And that's what we want. And then finally, we'll just add the string bin slash www. And we can see this happen, so let's go in here. And to install Nodemon, very simple, same as any other package, uh, i dash dash save dash dev, because it's a dev dependency, it's not needed on any kind of production thing. And then we'll say uh, Nodemon, just like that. Go ahead and install it, and once it actually does install, you can run, so npm run debug and it will start everything up with Nodemon. So we will see in our debugger, let's see if it, it, yep, there it goes. So we see that it's pausing at the beginning of the execution of the www file. If we let it run, it will run, nothing is changed, and we have all of the files accessible to us over here. So we see our app, we see our binary file, and this debugger, it's only going to pull in the files that you actually use. So you don't see the package.json, or you don't see the um, .git ignore, and actually if you have a JavaScript file in here that you're just not requiring anywhere, it's not going to show up there either. But this is something that I definitely suggest you use. I've seen other people who use Nodemon, and then they have to delete their entire database once they're finally finished with their models because it's just created these horrible half-baked tables um, and there's nothing wrong with it but I prefer this. All right so this was a really short video and I will see you guys in the next video where we're actually going to talk about SQLize. I'm looking for Reflecting